Hey adventurers, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janta, and this is my let's play of Pillars of Eternity. In the last episode, we explored Whitestone Hollow, and we're now headed to the Iron Flail Fort to advance the main story of White March 2 expansion. Uh, let's head over to the fort, yeah? The Iron Flail Fort. This is the area we've been directed to since the start. Might as well find out if there's actually, uh... I mean, clearly this is where we have to go to advance the plot. So, uh, let's find out what's here. Alright. Reasonably sized map. Hostile. Okay. Guess we're not negotiating. Some of you try to break the I think we should knock this guy down. He seems like he has spells. Yeah. Alright, try casting spells now. Buddy. Yeah, you really. If I micro off him properly, you really don't want to be the guy hitting him. Because he hits back hard. Yes? It's just, I kind of refuse to micro him properly under most circumstances, but, uh... Alright, well, these guys do have red Saren... Fennings. Typically stamped with the Penitential Regency's heraldry, or else with images of the Vorlis plant associated with red Saren's once-thriving dye exports. Coins value is identical to that of the silver adhering Saren Fenning used throughout the Empire and its colonial territories, although red Saren coins are not nearly as widespread. I like that there's a good variety of coins, and I also like that I don't have to bother keeping track of them myself. They just all convert to copper. Right, it's certain skeet. Small copper coin, identical in value to the deer variety of the same name, and the deer wooden pond. Iron flail warlock's helm. It's just a generic helmet, it's just I'd be cool glad looking. to. Okay. Oh, are we, like, at the perimeter of the fort? Or, like, they got a big moat of some kind? Oh, hello. Oh, what, the other two were hostile, but you aren't? Soldiers watch you wearily as you approach. Once you're within speaking distance, one of them gestures with his pistol. That's far enough. What are you doing here, you lost? I'm here to speak with your commander. The commander's not receiving any more visitors. He looks you over, frowning. Did Stalwart send you? Yep. Here for your delegates? The commander has them in a cell. We'll have the truth out of them one way or another. No, I'm surprised they're alive. As for you, Derek wants nothing more to do with messengers or diplomats. You're too late. What are you even doing here? Derek said there will be a great battle. We're here to hold the pass and defend Rehad Saris. What? He's seen this in a dream. Battle against who? Who else would wish to destroy Rayad Saris? The Deerwood hungers for our lives just as Stalwart hungered for the battery. I don't think the Deerwood is going to invade via this route. This is way too far north. Like, well, I guess Rayad Saris is north, but I think it's more like left north. Maybe I'm wrong. You've asked more than enough questions. Go on, get out of here. I won't that warn you again. That burn this place down. More than usual, I know. Okay, so apparently this is the perimeter, like. What does to do with the pile of logs? These logs seem recently cut from their size they once numbered amongst the older trees surrounding the pass. Just ahead of you, the gates to the fort remain shut fast. You spy archers moving along the tops of the watchtowers, scanning the surroundings, and the chill breeze carries the scent of burning pitch. Okay, so they're like... siege-ready here, huh? Or there. Yeah, okay, apparently I had to walk away faster than that. But you know what? I didn't really see the opportunity for a peaceful solution anyway. Let's just kill the bastards. Sorry, like a dog. Sorry guys. But, uh... That's 
don't know. Some of you could be helpful. That's for my, my friend. Oops, I accidentally pacified one of them. It's with the whispering. I'd be glad to. Exceptional on their persons. Okay, that's the way in. I'm gonna keep scanning the perimeter, which is what I was trying to do before they attacked me. Okay, grappling hook, bonies, brain, tin hat. to fight my way through all of them, really. I don't need the XP anymore, but, uh... I mean, the ones away from me, it seemed like they were immediately hostile anyway, so... Stand together. Them out. Okay, outstanding. At once. Exceptional mail. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's a full perimeter all the way around, but we'll keep going. Find out for sure. Why is there a bear? I'm in pure. Somebody go for the minute pure. Smash it. I'm All of us go for the minute pure. Okay, I guess it's mad about the logging. Probably. There's no excuse to attack me though. Devastation to the surrounding forest stretches near to the horizon. Yeah, they've been cutting trees down. I'd be glad to. Fair enough. Okay, there's the inside of the fort. I skirt. Oops. Why have I left Lana behind? Catch up. And the cat, too. I'm here. Okay, there's not actually anyone on the ramparts, as far as I can see. Bit lazy of them. Uh, there are people inside, though. One or two on the ramparts, maybe. Here, I brought you a scarf. Huh. Oh, what's going on here, folks? Thanks, Muriel. Hmm. Like its neighbors, this gravestone holds only a hastily scratched name. Oh, look at here. What's this? Oh, that's not unethical or anything. Ring of overseeing, huh? Don't mind if I do, just loop this grave. Um, what are you two doing? I can explain. Wait, who are you? You're the lord from Katnua, aren't you? The woman's cheeks are rosy with embarrassment. What are you doing here? Uh, calm down. I'm not here to hurt anyone. Well, what are you here for? You're liable to get fed to the dogs if the patrols catch you. Uh-huh. And what what are you two up to? Uh, too cold to get up to anything. Oh, sure. All right. Stealing some time away is all. No harm in that, is there? You here with that army? No, we're just... Villagers. Sure you are. He squirms. Please, just keep it down. Alec may be asleep on duty, but he's not the only one around. You know anything about the delegates? Well, just the obvious. They didn't do a good job of negotiating. The commander's been in a fury for the past week. It's not like him. What can you tell me about the commander? The commander? His eyes brightened. He pulled the iron flail together himself. He's a good man. He believes in Red Saris more than anyone. 
gave us our pride back. He told us to keep faith. Sometimes I think the vigilant speaks through him. Careful, he'll go on for hours if you let him. Any chance I can speak to the commander? Can't help you. And I don't just mean that they'd string me up for it. If you'd come before the delegates arrived, you might have had a chance. As it is, it looks like we're in for the fight, and the commander's not taking any risks. I'm, uh, not supposed to be out here. It makes three of us, right? I don't care if you consort with the enemy. You can consort all you want. Not my problem, really. Okay, so yeah, the map is pretty much mainly the fort, aside from the perimeter area. Pretty big fort. Oh, what's this now? A little sideway in, maybe? Not that it really matters. We've already pissed off everyone at the front gate, so... Well, let's just, uh... Hello? We've also killed pretty much all the patrols at this point, but, uh... Side. Who am I supposed to kill then? Okay. Oil, celery, wolf hide, potion, potion. Camping supplies. Really don't need them. Hello. War dogs. Toss out a couple of real spells, maybe. At least real spells, but something. Oh, damn. What are you using, Gunner? That looks fancy. Let's, uh. Let's take care of that. Didn't seem to stop it. Doesn't seem to be doing damage either, though. I don't know what this. Yes. Oh, yeah, everybody kill the soldiers. I'm here. Stand. Okay. Job done. At once. Oh, Raskin, I went a little too far, buddy. Dang, that looks like it hit Monaha pretty hard. Hit back. Then hit back is hard. Alright. At once. Oh, even more? Are these Raskin, I thought? Spies? We're well, not spies. Come on! That's right! Friends! You know, if we're not taking any chances of keeping people inside, there's actually an awful lot of people outside. All of whom are dead now. Sawa is ready. Get over, uh, Sawa. I'm here. Get over here. They sure have. Honestly, they've used a lot of wood putting up all these spikes in their trench. Or their moat. But, uh. It's not that they're even gonna do anything that useful. I mean, yes, they'll make it much harder to approach the walls, but. Digging a deeper trench probably would have had much the same effect. Alright, let's see if we can sneak in via this side. I mean, honestly, I don't think it makes much difference compared to just storming the place at this point, but, uh, might as well. Observing it from below, you notice the watchtower at the side gate appears to be unmanned. You find no hostile faces peering over the fence either. The roof of the tower crosses over the fort walls. Climbing it may provide a means of getting inside. You can make out voices past the gate engaged in scattered conversation. In the bright light of day, the camp bustles with activity. 
A discreet individual could try to open the gate before the alarm is sounded, but it will be risky in broad daylight. Looking over the outer wall, you notice a gap between two of the posts. While it's far too small for Kith, a small animal might make it through. I don't have form of the helpless beast, but, uh, well, unless somebody does that I don't know about, but well, let's just throw a grappling hook up, eh? Grappling hook strikes the wooden beam with a disquieting thud. No cries of alarm follow. A few tugs on the rope suggest the hook holds fast. Send the Devil of Karak up. If she can't be subtle, nobody can. The Devil of Karak grips the rope and begins the climb, clambering up and into the watchtower. Soon, Devil of Karak's maneuvering down the other side of the wall, inside the fort. From there, Devil of Karak has a glimpse of the bustling camp, and of the guard posted some short distance away. As Devil of Karak drops to a crouch, the movement catches the guard's attention, and he turns in Devil of Karak's direction. Oh. Wow. Apparently nobody can be subtle, because that's... yeah. The Devil of Karak steps back toward the shadow of the watchtower, but it's too late. The Devil of Karak rushes to unbar the gates. the guard shouts for reinforcements. I appreciate how she still starts out here with the rest of the party, though. Then the gates open now. Ah! Shouldn't hit those though, but... Alright, a bunch of guards come out of this. That's fine. We'll clear them right out, no problem. Loth, why don't you just bust out a chain like that? Yeah, that didn't kill him, but it pretty much crippled all of them. Just hit him with one or two of these, and that'll... Thank you. They didn't come through with flying colors, they barely came through at all. Body the dog was the last one saying. Alright, gate cleared. Warbo, male, archer coif. Why does the dog draw wolf fangs? But they're just indistinguishable. We're just passing them off as wolf fangs. At once. Male. Skeets. And, yes. Uh, no. Devil of Karak died, apparently. Hmm. Okay, did we kill everyone in the camp, or what's the plan at this point? I feel like we just eliminate the threat, honestly. Like, surely. I mean, they seem pretty definitively hostile. I wonder if the leader's vision was of... I mean, assuming he had any kind of real vision, right? But maybe it's of the same army that we're worried about? Because I'm not sure it's these guys. It seemed like it was some kind of, um... More supernatural kind of threat. Like the same thing that destroyed, uh, the White Forge. But, uh... This trebuchet is disassembled but intact. Uh, Durgan's battery, I mean. But, um... Just, this guy's so pretty implacably hostile, so... <laughs> Not much that I can do other than kill them all while looking for the leader anyway, I am. route through this evening or Absolutely. not. Didn't exactly seem like the guys at the gate were going to let us through. Plenty of hostiles in here, though. At once. Crikey. It's not that hostile in here. Jerky. Palms of Tara. 56 gold. Nice. Interesting. 
Is there an actual interior here? No, it just leads down. Okay. Peek out of the top reveals barrels marked as powder stores. Rice. Rain. I mean, it's an army, alright. Guessing this is where we'll find their commander, but, uh... You know, we might as well go ahead and clear the rest out first. Is it getting dark? Oh. Maybe we should wait until dark if we wanted to sneak in. Huh? That's right. Honestly, I almost forgot the time actually passes because it's so irrelevant most of the time, but, uh. Oh, I didn't kill that Temporarily friendly. I think. all over the place. At least this army's good for something. Okay, apparently we have to go down. That's not going to um, Someone save me from this war dog place before it hits my face entirely. Um, let's cast a little bit of light There's kind of a lot of these guys. That's Aider's Holy Meditation. I don't even know what that does. I don't remember where he got that. <laughs> Seems good, though. Maybe stay back a second. Alright, bomb <laughs> The devil went down! Oh, you know, the devil goes down. Oh, I'm down, too. Hit or not, about a I'm here. Alright, that's a bunch of them gone. They got exceptional gear in here mostly. I mean, Absolutely. they're pretty high level, just not enough to actually pose a credible threat to the party, really. Angled wood skins and straw provide the bedding in this kennel. All of it stinks of dog. Oh! War pup. A plump, brindle coated puppy already boasts a disciplined bearing, but only until it spots something to play with. Nice. Dagger. Ring of searing flames. We go all the way around. Okay. Alright. Kill small. Back for my job! Close to the yeah. no, no. It's a big camp. <laughs> I'd be glad to. Okay, what was this stuff? Spit out on this cask exudes a thick chemical stench. Trebuchet. Dog. Okay. 
Oh, this is the front gate. Gotcha. That's why there's so many people here. Forward! Alright, give me a quick cast of some of the big stuff, eh? Still don't know what the hell this is. Not sure at all what the hell this is either, but uh... Fall out. Loth. Ooh, Zahwa's down. Okay. Loth, maybe you want to do some uh, chain lightning? Vader, maybe you want to actually engage properly? Okay. I don't know how you probably feel, I'm guessing. Okay, fire has been tossed. More chain. Later, knock this guy over just because. Toss out another fireball. Cast more chain lightning. Yeah, we'll just rest after this fight because this one's pretty tough. No. I suppose this is what you snuck in the side to avoid, but I was inevitably just going to fight them all anyway. Well, that's not okay. Why don't you go and lose that? If you can live long enough. I'm here. One champion left. Let's. Aider guy. Chance for a fire range, guys. They're all hurt, I think. Well, not that much. That's not very helpful. That will be true. Oh, well done, Aider. There we go. Problem solved. That's just an exceptional plate. Yep. Pretty good though. I shot. I was gonna say they don't grow on trees, but honestly, we probably have like 10 sets of exceptional plate now, if not more, so there are quite a few around. In the end. Karak is dying. Let's go ahead and take a rest. Before she actually dies. Oh, in order to stop the Yeah, well, we'll be alright. A couple of rubies. You gotta see this. Oh. Bonies. Oh. My love, I've enclosed some coins from Stalwarts. You have proof that I arrived. You're right. I'm colder than I've ever been. All the more so for being away from you. The kith here are as cool as cold as their land. They do not hate us as the dear woodens do, but they are mistrustful and proud. The commander has sent for delegates to start negotiations. Perhaps by the time this letter reaches you, we will have moved into Durgan's battery. The stalwart has no soldiers, only a handful of guards. Ephraim says he went to look at the battery with some scouts and did not see anyone posted atop the tower. Without those cannons, they would be foolish to do anything but surrender. If not, we're sure to knock the fight out of them quickly. Commander says that once the battery's ours, our presence here alone may be enough to make the invaders think twice. Who would face us with the might of the battery at our backs? I write too much of battle, but only to assure you that we are well. I miss you. The mountains are beautiful. I hold hope that you may see them for yourself once it's safe for you to join us. That's some awfully mixed intentions. It sounds like they didn't theoretically have a bone to pick with the uh, locals, but they also intended to take the battery over by force if necessary. Hot pitch roils ominously within this deep cauldron. So, uh, well, now they're all dead mainly, so.
cost me reputation with Deerford Village. Interesting. It's because I killed so many people. But wait, why actually? Does it make sense? If you say so. That'll do. These are rad sirens. Gentle rap elicits a hollow sound. This cask is almost empty. What's up, guys? Just sort of finishing the job. Not too much left of the camp at this point. Give him, give him a fireball. So I'll stay away from the fireball. Alright, now everybody get up there. Start hitting him with this since they're so nicely set up for the attacks. <laughs> and they're all dead. Except the child. And now they're all dead. Oh, piglets. Simple meat. A meal of meat and carrots boiled into a soupy mixture. Like a, a stew. As some call it. I'd be glad to. Alright, I think uh, I think we've pretty much cleared the camp out. A few enterprising individuals have carved crude figures into the wooden logs of the latrine. Isn't that nice? Well, I'm surprised the camp included a latrine. That's the kind of thing that gets overlooked a lot when designing these places and games. It's no you. A wild rifleman shooting at us. That won't stop us from now. What's the point in the delay on the fireball? I guess it's just to nerf it, probably, but like... It doesn't feel like it makes a lot of magical sense, I don't know. Seems like a good situation to use this. Fight these guys. These vets also turn hostile. Okay, never mind. Right, he got dominated for a really long time, though. And he's friendly again. That guy really wants to defect, but. 18 seconds again. Cots been recently washed. The dirt and mud beneath them is flecked with darker stains. You can see the water's dark surface not far below. 
Okay, I think that is now the whole camp cleared out, so let's uh, meet their commander, now that he doesn't have an army anymore. Thanks for watching, adventurers. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, adventurers. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.